What's up everybody, OCD Farming here today, and welcome back to Cow Farm for episode 1 of our solo series. And we got a bunch of new additions, it's been like a couple days since I made a video, and yeah, we've gotten a bunch of new cool stuff. So yeah, uh, first off we got our leaf blower, yeah, and it works as a pressure washer. So yeah, clean stuff. I don't have anything dirty right now because I haven't used anything yet. But yeah, it's it's a, it's a pressure washer basically. But yeah, so that's that. Um, we also got this bad boy, uh, the TLX 1982 series, and we got four of them. Sorry, don't look at those. But yeah, we got one here that is just the normal bed with the roll bar, and yeah, look at the horns on it. Got the long horns. Yeah, that's a nice freaking truck. Pretty nice. I like it. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that. We got one with the gooseneck. We also got a Komatsu forklift. Freaking dope. I like that. I like Komatsus. Uh, we also got another truck here with a tanker. So yeah, this is... Uh, you have to use the uh, workhorse um, thing for it. Oh yeah, there's two trucks too. There's a patina and the special. We have the special. Um, so yeah. Um, but yeah, there. Uh, I think this one's 17 slots and this one was 18. Uh, 795 horsepower goes up to uh, 100. 20k working speed and it can also hold 120 liters of diesel um, so yeah you need the uh, we have a bunch we got limited and vintage and then we got workhorse this is what you need to put the attachments on and um, the attachments are in miscellaneous and tools in miscellaneous and you go down to here. We have a TLX 1982 old flatbed, uh, three slots. Uh, we got a stake bed, uh, which can hold 10 to 700 or 7,300 liters of all of those crops that you see below. Um, I forget how many slots it was because we do own one of these. Uh, but we own it's it's a weird one. Um, I believe if you have this one, or is it this one? Uh, oh yeah, it just holds like forge stuff. Okay, yeah. So you can have all doors, which will hold nothing, and then forge transport, which will hold. 10,000 and then you got an unrealistic one which will hold a hundred thousand and that's the one we got <laughs> um, So yeah, it holds like TMR chaff uh, Hay and straw maybe I think But yeah uh, We also have liquids tank which we do have and It can hold 7300 liters of What was it? Pretty much all the liquids yeah, basically all the liquids. And then we can also add a uh, livestock transport uh, trailer to it too if we want. And then you can have the standard flatbed too. So yeah, really nice, a lot of options. Uh, and then we also have a service bed, which we, we do own. Um, so you can have an unreal capacity of 45,000 liters or 4,500 liters. Uh, we got decorative options, rack, we got vinyls, and a lot of vinyls. We got Volvo, we got Massey, we got New Holland, we got Kubota, we got Case, we got John Deere, which is the one we got, and then we got none. So yeah, pretty cool. I like I like all the decals. Um, then we got lighting and change the color up and whatnot. So very cool. I like all these attachments that it came with very nice I'm probably gonna get rid of all my other trucks now and yeah these are this is probably my new favorite truck I'm not gonna lie <laughs> sorry that uh, flatbed service truck that I got like a couple days ago but you're gonna be gone soon because these ones are just a, a lot better look at how nice these are they're freaking nice I love them 
but yeah, that is that, and then we also got two little tractors, um, and they look, may look small, but they're 130 horsepower, so that's pretty decent for tiny little tractors, uh, but yeah, we got one here with, uh, I believe this one has narrows, yes, it works with narrows, um, so it's a tricycle, and it's 4320 John Deere, and then we got a two-wheel drive with really nice fenders, yeah, look at the John Deere logo on that. I like those. Very nice John Deere right there. I like that. Nice looking tractor. Uh, but yeah, 4320. And this one's got the canopy. And this one does have nothing. Has nothing. So yeah. And that is everything to show you. Uh, so, um, yeah, we are going to get going on what we need to do today. And we got to do a wheat harvest. Little tiny one there. Little weird looking field there and then we also need to spray some herbicide on our corn field here um, and then we might also pick up some poo over at the cow farm so yeah that is uh, gonna be the plan stand for today I'll put all this stuff away I think later um, but yeah I will need the truck uh, you know what I'm just gonna put it away now <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to get going on that and the fast forwarding, so enjoy yourselves. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, we also got a uh, Amazon uh, fertilizer spreader right here for the, uh, for the John Deere. So yeah, that is that. And I probably should have put this in last. Just gonna move this over here. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, goodbye.
that's uh, pretty much going to do it for today. We're just going to give some cows some straw. And yeah, that'll do it for today. I just want to see if this does take straw. <laughs> feeling we'll need a lot more than that. Yeah. So I'm just gonna top this up quick. And yeah. But uh that's uh pretty much gonna do it for today though. Um so tune in next episode where we will be back at American Farmlands for episode one. Yeah buddy. And then we'll be back at Hickory Valley for episode two. This looks dope. I love it. I love it. I love it. This looks awesome. Oh, I missed my turn. God damn it. My bone back. I keep forgetting there's a little driveway right there. Oh, I love these trucks. These are awesome trucks. Alright, so let's see if this works. Alright, so 117, that's like halfway. Uh, we still need another full load and probably more. Damn, son. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, just park this guy over here for now. So we'll be using that. And we'll actually go grab our uh, liquid truck. here too I forgot about it. so we do have some straw there so I, I might load all that into uh, our mixer because we do have a Ferriston mixer here so yeah we'll probably do that as well and then we'll clean up the poo we'll get rid of all the milk and um, the slurry and then uh, We'll feed them some TMR as well. And that should be good for them. And then the sheep, I think we just need to pick up all the wool and give them a lot more grass. Or hay. I'm going to give them some hay. Hay is better. Uh, but yeah, that is going to do it for today though. So let me know how you guys like these, uh, if, how you think about these trucks. Because I really like the livestock uh, steak bed one here. Very nice. I like the... Uh, I can't wait to see what the TMR looks like. It's going to look dope in that. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, going to do it for today. Though. So until next time, OCD Fireman signing out. Peace!